Don't start your journey of saying, I want to be a movie director because I want to you know, I want to hit the blockbuster charts. So I want to do this. Don't make it about that. The number one thing that you have to do if you want to have success, the number one thing that I've seen over and over and over and over and over and over and over again is what I tell people is treat the gym like a spa. Rise and shine. It's an special time. <laughs> Hey, it's Evan Carmichael, and I am not a morning person, but when you start your day with a routine that inspires you, like watching one of these videos, it will change your life. So let's start your day off right together. Grab your coffee, know that I believe in you, and get ready for a shot of espresso from Jay Shetty. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. I wake up every morning. I think we always have been trained to focus on the results. So people ask, what do you want in life? And I'm like, forget that. That's the worst question to ask someone. Because when you ask what you want, that's when the ads come in and you're like, oh, I want that car. I want that home. I want that dress. I want that body. I want whatever it is. I, my question to is, what do you want to wake up and be every day? Like, what do you want to wake up and do every day? What's the process that yeah. you're in love with? So we're thinking about the result, whereas my question is forget the result, what's the process that you're in love with doing? So start there first of all, don't start your journey of saying, I wanna be a movie director because I wanna, you know, I wanna hit the blockbuster charts, so I wanna do this, don't make it about that. Like, don't, don't be like, I wanna be a singer because I wanna be Ariana Grande, right? Like that's not the point, that's just a result. Do you love singing every day? And I realized this with a very honest question to myself, I'm really passionate about football. Soccer, I absolutely love the game. I grew up on it, I'm still a huge fan. I missed out on it when I was a monk. I've been catching up ever since. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, I, any football game. I was just in London last week and I made sure I went, I didn't, couldn't see a game live, but I went and watched it at a, at a bar in London and I love the energy. I'm so passionate about soccer. I don't have what it takes to be a soccer player. Yeah. Like I do not want to wake up at 4 a.m. <laughs> I wake up at 4 a.m. to meditate when I was a monk, I wake up at six, uh, 5.30 a.m. now to meditate. I do not wanna wake up at 4 a.m. to go out on a raining pitch and play soccer. Mm -hmm. Like I don't wanna be in the gym for four hours a day. I wanna meditate for four hours a day, but I don't wanna me uh, play soccer for four hours a day and then be in the gym and train. I'm not envious of any athlete in the world because it takes a different type of mindset. The number one thing that you have to do if you want to have success, the number one thing that I've seen over and over and over and over and over and over and over again is you have to love what you do. You have to love what you do. You have to love the process. I can't tell you how many people I've profiled over the years. How many videos have I made? <laughs> if you've been following my journey at all, this is your first video, hey, welcome aboard. But if you've been following my journey at all and all the videos, 10,000 plus videos across my channels, crazy number of all the people that I profiled from entrepreneurs, athletes, musicians, inventors, you name it. The number one rule for success, the number one that comes up across all people from all walks of life who've hit their targets is that they love what they do because the target wasn't the real goal. Changing the world and loving what they do is the most important priority. This is where people get confused. This is where people get lost. This is where people fall down because they're just chasing the goal and you end up not being willing to put in the work because you don't love it enough. That's the problem. The problem with just being results focused, this is my goal and I'll hit it no matter what, is you won't hit it no matter what. You won't do the no matter what because you don't love it enough. If it's just a strategy for you, you're gonna lose because somebody else loves it. I had a guy last night on my live stream join in who was saying, Evan, I've, I'm struggling between two business ideas. I'm not sure which one to do. I said, okay, let, let's hear it. What, what are the two ideas? Like, well, the first one is a business that I can start with my cousin and he's a successful entrepreneur. And so I think, you know, we can have some success because of his background. And the second one is uh, selling some stuff on Amazon because I think it's a good opportunity. And I told him, neither, neither. Neither of those ideas is what you should do. It's like, why? It's because you don't love either of them. You don't actually have a passion for either of them. That's the problem. It's not that the idea is wrong. Like you don't actually love either of them. So you're going to quit. It's like, well, why, why does that matter so much? 
why do I, why do I have to love it so much? Like, well, one, because you're going up against people who love it. You're going up against people who love the thing. If you put two people and one of them loves the thing and will do anything to actually make it happen, and the other one is just a strategy for them because they think it's a smart idea, who do you think is going to win? <laughs> it's always the person who loves it, right? So one, you're going up against people who love the thing. Uh, two, you could be doing something that you love where you have a huge advantage over other people. And so then he said, well, okay, I feel like to do the thing that I love, I need to have a lot more stability. I'm like, okay. You don't actually need a lot more stability. You're just afraid. And I told them, you're, you're too smart. This is the problem. This is actually a problem with smart people. When you're really smart, you one, think just strategy and forget your heart. <laughs> Meanwhile, dummies are winning off of your idea because they just started on the thing that they love. They're winning off of, you could do it. You could do it better than them because you're smart, but you're missing the biggest thing of all, which is big decisions with the heart small ones with the head and smart ones, smart people often overthink, over talk, over plan, over strategize and end up not having success. There's a ton of smart people who never have success because they're, they're thinking just with their brain and not acting enough with their heart. What he doesn't actually need is stability. He's just afraid. He's convinced himself that he needs stability. So he's going to do work that he doesn't like to try to get the stability so that he can go chase down what he loves. Instead of all that, instead of that long path that's not going to work out anyway because he's not going to win doing work that he hates. And instead, what he needs to do, what you need to do, is find a thing that you love and then be smart about it. Recognize that because you love it so much, you're just more afraid of that thing failing. Because what does that say about you? If you chase down your thing that you love and it doesn't work and you fail, what does that say about you? That's the real fear. If he chases down some business with his cousin and it doesn't work, great, blame the cousin. Chase down some Amazon thing, it doesn't work, whatever, I didn't care about that thing anyway, right? It's low stakes. But if you chase down a thing you love and it doesn't work, what does that say about you? So it's just fear. You don't actually need more stability, you're just afraid. And so recognizing that is the first step because smart people find really smart reasons why you can't win, right? He convinced himself that that was the problem which is a really smart reason. You're not gonna believe a stupid reason, right? You're not gonna believe a stupid reason. You're gonna believe a really smart reason. And you're a smart person. So come up with those really smart reasons. <laughs> but really, it's just fear talking. Underneath, your reason is just fear. You're just afraid. So what he needs to do, what you need to do, is find the thing that you love, and then apply your smarts. Find the thing that makes you come alive. Find the thing that you could do day in, day out. Love doing it and then apply your smarts against it. So you have your heart, and then you have your head alongside you. Big decisions with the heart, small ones with the head. You make those big decisions with what you love doing, but then you bring your brain with you. Don't be stupid, don't be reckless. Your brain will help you figure it out. The problem is our brains and our hearts are fighting each other. Your brain tells you to go do this safe thing, practical thing, money-making opportunity thing, hot trend for this year thing. And your, your heart's saying, I don't like any of that stuff. I want to do this. But what your heart wants to do doesn't make sense. What your heart's telling you to do doesn't make sense. Like nobody's done this before. Nobody in my family does this. Who am I to think I can do this? And your brain talks you down from those big things. So the key is you shut off your brain at the beginning. <laughs> With the big decisions, you can't listen to your brain. You listen to your heart and then you use your brain. Once you have aligned them, you say, brain, we're doing this. Now help me figure out how to do this because I don't know what I'm doing, right? That's the, that's the conversation. So then you get them aligned and your brain will help you figure it out because you're a smart person. Looking at my YouTube videos, how do I still make videos every day? 12 years later, 10,000 videos later, how? I like the process. I like, I like help, I like making videos. I don't, I don't like the gear and, and the, the editing and technology and all that, but I like the idea of making videos. This is fun for me. I'm sitting here in a car in the middle of winter in Canada my, while my wife is at Costco. Can you see it? Can we see the sign? I don't know where the Costco sign is. Is it? Can we see it? No. Anyway, whatever. We're at a Costco. I'm sitting here in the parking lot. It's snowing. It's cold. And I'm making videos for you. Why? Why? Do I have to? No. Is there enough of the 10,000 other videos out there that I've made? Yes. I like it. <laughs> 
I enjoy it. It's fun for me. I'm cold, but it's still fun for me. And so this is my passion process. You have to find yours. And then you use your brain to figure out the how. I can use my brain to figure out what am I gonna call this video? And what are we gonna put on the coming ups? And what's our thumbnail gonna be? And what's the title gonna be? So that it, it gets the most exposure as possible. How am I gonna promote it? How am I gonna market it? How am I gonna share it? All of that, that's, that's your head getting into the process to help you, to help me. But at the core has to be an enjoyment of the process. And again, if you look at any of the people you look up to, Look at who your heroes are, your role models, whether it's Jay Shetty or Warren Buffett or Bill Gates or Oprah Winfrey or whoever it is. Who do you look up to? Who do you love? Who do you want to learn from? Who do you respect? Don't just listen to me, listen to them. Look at them, look at what they say and how they talk about what they're doing. They love what they're doing. It's not work for them. If you see it as work, you've already lost. It's not work. It's life, it's living, it's breathing. It's breathing. Making videos is breathing for me. Serving entrepreneurs, believing in people is breathing for me. It's not a strategy, it's not work. And that's why I win at what I do. And, and you can just as easily as I can, but not by copying me, it's by, by living you. You've got your own Michael Jordan level genius. You've got your own Michael Jordan level genius. You are the best in the world at something, at something. And it's not the thing that your cousin wants you to do. And it's not the hot trend of next year. It's doing the thing that's in your heart and then using your brain to help you figure out how to actually do it. Now I've got a special bonus clip that I think you're gonna enjoy. But before that, it's time for the question of the day. I wanna know what was your single biggest takeaway from this video and your plan of action for the next week. When you watch a video and you just get inspired, the statistics say you have a 35% chance of actually following through. But when you get motivated through a video and then you actually create a plan of action, you have a over 90% chance of following through. From 35% to 90% plus because you created a plan of action and when you commit to somebody else, commit publicly to say, I'm going to do this, it jumps to the mid 90s. That's what I want for you. Because Believe Nation, we take action. We follow through. We don't just get motivated. We actually do something about it so we can make the positive shift in the world that you want to make. And so question of the day, I want to know, what was your single biggest takeaway from this video and your plan of action for the next week? Let me know, put it down in the comments below so I can celebrate with you too. Hey everyone, I have been reading a bit from my friend's book, Evan Carmichael, Built to Serve, and I wanted to share this with you. So according to a study by Carnegie Mellon University, people with supportive spouses are more likely to give themselves the chance to succeed. They studied 163 married couples and found that people with supportive spouses were more likely to take on potentially rewarding challenges. Those who accepted challenges experienced more personal growth, happiness, and psychological well-being. Now, I can truly say that I've experienced that in my life. When I first met my wife, I was just starting out. I had never released a video. I hadn't created any content, and she was such an important part of feeling supported on that journey. So. Whether you're in a relationship, whether you're dating, whether you're married, or even if you're single, being supported by friends and a strong community is important. Uh, Built to Serve by Ellen Carmichael, great book on how you can find your purpose and also on reminding us that we can all make a difference in the world. Thanks, Evan. I'm gonna tell you, this is where trainers mess people up. I've had trainers who totally just want to prove that you could never do what they do. And, that's, yeah. and, they, and they have you paying. I right. know what you mean. Just to say like, oh, this You're not as good guy. as me. Right. And they go to blast you. Like they want you, unless you're in pain and you feel like you're sick and you're throwing up, they're like, yeah, that's a workout now. Yeah, yeah, look at you. Yeah, you hurt, you hurt, you can't walk, great. Yeah. And the whole point is, what I tell people is treat the gym like a spa. The first mm -hmm. time you ever go, just go in there and walk around. True, Touch yeah. the weights, get a drink of water, walk around and then leave. Right. And, and and I mean, literally do that for like a week, two weeks, until you just get to the habit of getting in that door. Because mm -hmm. what's going to happen is eventually you're going to start lifting because you're there. Yeah. And you're going to do something. And then you stop. Don't ever get to the point where you're like, I can't feel my arm. Ah. <laughs> it doesn't work. I've been working. People want, they say they want my body and all this stuff. But I've been working out consistently since I was 14 years old. Right. And I'm 44. I've 
30, 30 years, years of hardcore right. two hour workout. 30 years. Yeah. So it doesn't happen overnight. Nope. You just have to enjoy the process. Totally. Learn to enjoy it. Because I'm sure there was a point where you started to enjoy yep. losing 113 yep. pounds. Yep. If you want another amazing video highlighting excellence in the Indian community, check it out right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there.